Hello everyone, welcome to Static GK quiz number 120. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritvisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following types of clouds are associated with structure resembling the piles of cauliflower? The correct answer is cumulus clouds, which are puffy clouds that sometimes look like pieces of floating cotton. The base of each cloud is often flat and maybe only 1000 meters above ground. The top of the cloud has rounded towers. Which among the following countries also known as crossroads of Central Asia? The correct answer is Afghanistan. Central Asia has historically been closely tied to its nomadic people and the Silk Road. Afghanistan has acted as a crossroads for the movement of people, goods and ideas between Europe, Western Asia, South Asia and East Asia. Kultra is a currency of which of the following countries? The correct answer is Bhutan. It is the currency of the Kingdom of Bhutan and is subdivided into 100 Cheta. The Royal Monetary Authority of Bhutan is the minting authority of it and uh, it is currently pegged to Indian rupee at parity. That is, one Indian rupee is equal to one Kultra. What is the distance between consecutive longitudes at poles? The correct answer is 0 km. A degree of longitude is widest at the equator with a distance of 111 km. The distance gradually shrinks to 0 as they meet at the poles. At 40 degree north or south, the distance between degrees of longitude is 85 km. During which of the falling events, the distance between sun and earth is maximum? The correct answer is aphelion. Earth is close to the sun during perihelion and that is around 3rd January while it's furthest from the sun at aphelion which is around 4th of July. Which among the following is the average orbital speed of the earth around the sun? The correct answer is 29.7 kilometers. The orbital speed of the earth around the sun averages to about 30 kilometers or 29.7 kilometers which is fast enough to cover the planet's diameter in 7 minutes and the distance to the moon of 384,000 kilometers in 4 hours. Which among the following soil is rich in mineral? The correct answer is alluvial soil. As many alluvial soils are good for plant growth, these soils contain useful concentrations of minerals and elements needed by plants for growth like calcium, sodium, potassium, silicon, phosphorus, typically phosphates, nitrogen as nitrates or ammonium salts, carbonates, sulfates, etc. Which among the following soil has been formed by the weathering of ancient metamorphic and crystalline rocks and is rich in iron content? The correct answer is red soil which is formed by the weathering of ancient crystalline and metamorphic rocks, particularly acid granites and gneisses, quartzitic rocks and felsopithic rocks. Chemically, red soil is siliceous and aluminous with free quartz as sand, but is rich in potassium ranging from sand to clay with the majority being loamy. Which among the following is the source of Brahmaputra river? So if you look at the map, it is the Angsi glacier. So the correct answer is Angsi Glacier. Brahmaputra originates from this glacier located on the northern side of the Himalayas in Burang country of Tibet as the Yolang Sangpo River and flows south Tibet to break through the Himalayas in great gorges. Sangpo enters India after taking a U-turn at Namcha Barwa and flows in Arunachal Pradesh and here we call it the Hang River or Siang River. Which among the following is the largest river system among the Deccan system of rivers? The correct answer is Godavari. With a length of 1465 kilometers, Godavari is India's second largest river that runs within the country and also the longest river in South India. It originates near Trimbak in Nashik district of Maharashtra state and flows east across the Deccan plateau into the Bay of Bengal near Narasimpuram in West Godavari district of Andhra Pradesh. The river is also known as Dakshin Ganga and Gautami. The Manjra and Indravati rivers are its major tributaries. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.